this video, we'll review how to solve equations that have more than one step. The idea is that first we need to remove any parentheses we see by distributing. And then we'll combine any like terms that we see on each side separately. So the first two steps help us make the sides as simple, each side separately as simple as possible. Then we'll start moving things. We'll move the things that have letters to the left using addition or subtraction. And then we'll move the things that have numbers to the right using addition or subtraction. And then finally you get the variable by itself by dividing or multiplying. So let's look at this equation. We'll start by drawing a line down through the equal sign. There's nothing on the left that we can simplify and nothing on the right. The right just has a 62. So there's nothing to simplify, so we just get to start moving it. It says minus 2, so we'll add 2 to both sides. That leaves us with 8 sevenths y equals 64. Now the 8 sevenths y is really multiplication, so we'll divide by 8 sevenths on both sides. That leaves you with y equals. Now over here you can put this in parentheses and use your fraction button, 64 divided by 8 fraction 7. Or you can remember that this really means that we take the first number, change division to multiplication, and flip over the second one. And then we can simplify. 8 goes into 8 one time, 8 goes into 64 8 times, and then we multiply straight across. 8 times 7 is 56, 1 times 1 is 1, so we get y equals 56. Let's look at this equation. We'll draw our line straight down. And the first thing we should see is that we have like terms on the left hand side. So negative 2a plus 3a is 1a and there's still a plus 7. We also have like terms on the right hand side. 13 minus 12, 22 is a negative 9. And now that we've got that each side separately as simple as possible, we're ready to start moving. So this plus 7 we're going to move to the other side by subtracting 7. That leaves me with 1a, or just a, we don't usually write the 1 in front of a letter. And on the right, if you take negative 9 minus 7, you get negative 16. And that's our answer. In this problem, we'll start by drawing our line straight down through again. And this time we need to get rid of the parentheses, so we're going to take 1 6 times both of those. So we'll take 1 6 times 12 minus 1 6 times 18x. We still have a plus 4 and an equals 5. So 1 6 times 12 you can do in your calculator or you can just see it as 6 going into 12 2 times and then 6 going into 18 3 times. So I have 2 minus 3x and I still have plus 4 equals 5. I have some like terms here. I have this 2 plus 4 so I get 6 minus 3x equals 5. And now I can move. I can subtract the 6 from both sides. This is really, remember, a plus 6 if there's nothing in front of it. So the opposite is minus 6. And that leaves me with negative 3x equals negative 1. So we'll divide both sides by negative 3. Which leaves me with x over here. Now negative 1 divided by negative 3 gives you a big long fraction in your calculator, so instead of thinking of it as division, let's think of it as a, a fraction. The negative and the negative would cancel out, because a negative divided by negative is really a positive. And so we get positive 1 third. Look at a couple more. i draw a line straight down. This again has parentheses, so we want to get rid of them. So I'm going to start by writing negative 15x in front. And then I have 2 times 4, which is 8x. 
and then 2 times negative 3, which is minus 6. And I still have equals negative 13 minus 6x. So I'm going to combine my like terms. 15 x, negative 15x plus 8x is a negative 7x. Minus 6 equals negative 13 minus 6x. So now I'm ready to move my things with letters to the left. This is a minus 6x, so I'm going to add 6x to both sides. That leaves me with a negative 1x minus 6 equals negative 13. Then I'll add 6 here, add 6 here. And that leaves me with negative 1x equals negative 7. I need to divide both sides by negative 1 because this is times. We're essentially saying that we need to change the sign of this in front of the x. If we change the sign on the left-hand side, we could just need to change the sign on the right-hand side. So we really just get x equals 7. One more example. We'll again draw our line straight down. Again, we have a parentheses that we need to get rid of. So I need to take that 1 third times negative 12k plus 1 third times 39. On the right hand side we still have 3 plus 11k. So again you can do this in your calculator or you can just see that this is really 3 into negative 12 which is negative 4. So I have negative 4k and 3 into 39 which is 13. So I have plus 13 equals 3 plus 11k. So I'm going to move my k's to the left. This is plus 11k, so I subtract 11k. So negative 4 minus 11 is negative 15k. And I'm going to copy everything else. And then I want to move that number away from the k, so it's plus 13, I'll subtract 13. So now I have negative 15k equals negative 10. Now again, we need to divide by whatever number is in front, because that's really multiplication, right? So I'm going to divide by negative 15, and I'm going to divide by negative 15. That gives me k equals. Now on this right hand side, if you do negative 10 divided by negative 15, you get a long decimal. So instead of thinking of it as division, let's think of it as a fraction. The negative divided by negative makes it a positive, so we'd have positive 10 over 15, but we can reduce that. We can divide the top and the bottom by 5, or you can use your calculator. So we get k equals 2 thirds.